Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Alex Tech Works. This episode is all about my Lenovo L28U 28 inch 4K Ultra HD work monitor. I was looking for a 4K Ultra HD monitor for a sub 250 pounds, and that's when I came across this one. Hopefully this is useful for anyone that is looking for an Ultra HD monitor that doesn't break the bank. Now, what would really, really help me out is if you subscribe to my channel, you like this video, you follow me over on Instagram, I'm on Twitter as well. Every single person that supports my channel, it really goes such a long way. I can create more content, more videos and more things for you to watch. Also, I've just topped over that 100 subscriber mark. I know it's not a huge amount, but it really does mean the world to me. Anyways, let's get into this review. Right, so my first talking point is about the design and build of this monitor. The overall look of this game monitor is pretty basic. It's got an 8mm bezel that goes around uh, around the top uh, and left and right sides and a 25mm bezel at the bottom. It has a really nice chrome black Lenovo uh, sort of a logo located at the bottom left of the monitor which is quite subtle and only sort of noticeable when it when there's a reflection meanwhile the uh, control buttons are located on the bottom right with a very small sort of white led power slash standby indicator which is sort of small enough to not be noticeable but bright enough to notice it when you need to the stand however is very large compared to the screen size itself it measures in at 25 centimeters wide by 25 centimeters in depth and it's pretty significant now I bought this monitor with every intention to add a monitor stand uh, which I'm going to be using. Generally the overall look is sleek and modern but this monitor is definitely one to mount using a monitor arm. Right so my next thing on the list I'm going to talk about is the display itself. This is the good stuff. Now the display resolution is 28 inch LED monitor that comes in at 3840 by 2160 pixels and has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It boasts an AMD processor with a 4 millisecond refresh rate, 60 hertz frequency. Now you might be thinking 4 millisecond refresh and 60 hertz isn't that great. Well you're right, it's no 120 hertz monitor but this was also sub 250 pounds. I use this monitor with my PS5, my 2019 MacBook Pro and it is incredible. Coming from a Samsung Ultra HD 4K TV, it just feels way more sharp, responsive and it's just phenomenal. When I use this monitor for Lightroom, Photoshop, video editing, the real estate on the screen itself is just enough. Granted, it would be nice to have an ultra wide monitor for video editing. Overall, the display is absolutely ultra crisp and perfect for everyday tasks. Right, let's talk about connectivity. This Lenovo 4K IPS display is limited by the number of ports it has. It has one HDMI 2.0 port and one display port 1.2. As I mentioned earlier, I'm utilizing both. I have a 4K HDMI splitter to allow me to connect a third port as I sometimes watch Sky TV using this monitor as well. Now, if you're running two screens, you're not really gonna have a problem because you obviously will double up the amount of ports that you've got. But if you're running multiple devices through this monitor, I possibly look to get a different monitor that has more HDMI inputs or more DisplayPort inputs. I'll leave a link down in the description below as some alternatives that are around the same price that I think are worthwhile buying. This monitor also features a 3.5mm jack port, so if you're wanting to connect like a soundbar or speakers, you've got that option too. So what's this Lenovo 4K monitor like to game on? I could happily game on this monitor, as I mentioned previously, it's got a 4K IPS display, it's using an AMD processor that runs at 60Hz refresh rate and a 4 millisecond response time. I'm just here playing Battlefield and granted it's not specifically a gaming monitor with a 120Hz refresh rate or a 1 millisecond response time, but it's still pretty damn good. The colors are crisp, the input lag doesn't seem to be sort of that bad, and watching 4K movies is absolutely incredible. Sometimes I just kick back, stream some Netflix, and take a little break. Overall, I think this monitor is aimed at professionals that are doing everyday tasks, you know, um, editing photos, editing videos, um, browsing the internet, all that kind of stuff, rather than an entertainment type monitor for gaming and specifically watching movies. Right, so let's talk about the bad bits that I, I don't like about this monitor. 
Firstly, as I mentioned before, the amount of ports they get is limited. You only get one HDMI port and one display port and you also get a 3.5 mil jack. But that's it, that's all you get. Now, if you're planning to run multiple devices into this monitor, then it might be worth going for something else, like I mentioned before. But you can overcome that, you can just get a HDMI splitter like I've done. It is a bit of a pain and a little bit of an extra, but it's not a huge deal. If you know you're gonna be plugging in more devices, then like I said, buy a different monitor. The other letdown is that the monitor and bezel size, despite what Amazon claim, it's not a two mil bezel. It's actually about a 7.58 mil bezel that goes around the edge of the uh, of the monitor. You also have a 25 mil bezel at the base. Uh, that's obviously for the logo and the buttons as well. Right, coming to the final bad point about this monitor is the reflection. Now I'm quite lucky, my window doesn't face the sun uh, at any point in the day, but if you've already got that problem where you have a slight bit of sunlight hitting onto your monitor, this will definitely be exaggerated on uh, this Lenovo monitor. So, you know, if you're in a room where you have a reflection, this definitely isn't the monitor to get. Right, so let's round things up here. All in all, this Lenovo monitor is a cracking monitor. It does exactly what it says on the box. Now, the display is sharp, it's perfect for everyday tasks, it works flawlessly with my PS5, you can stream Netflix 4K with complete ease. I picked this up for about £220. The price does fluctuate quite a lot uh, on Amazon, it goes up to sort of £299, um, and I think at the moment it's about £250. Um, if you can get it at a cheaper price, then great, you've got yourself an absolute bargain. If you end up spending about £300 on it, I would probably look for an alternative. Um, but all in all, value for money wise, it's absolutely incredible. All right, so what I'll do is I'll leave a link down in the description below along with some other desk items that I use. If you've enjoyed this video, drop it a like. Also hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out. It goes such a long way. I've just hit 100 subscribers and I know it's not thousands, hundreds of thousands, but to get to that 100 mark has taken me a while and I greatly appreciate every single person that has subscribed to my channel. Now, I'm also over on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter as well. It's all under Alex Techworks. You can see some other things I'm getting up to, um, some behind the scenes footage, some images, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's it from me. Now, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Catch you later.